so hey y'all welcome back to another video so this is like a very big video so i actually still have it and i wanted to answer all of your questions in this same video so that way everybody can understand and see how it's really done so in this video i am using mia secret products i have the pink acrylic uh by mia secret and then i have the liquid by mia secret so my brush is the alpha student brush it's in a size eight please make sure you're using the right ratio of acrylic and acrylic liquid so that way it won't be too runny when you're placing it on the nail anything that i don't answer in this video will be in the main video so make sure y'all pay attention to that video too so the nail tips that i'm using for this video they are full nails like you can just put them on and go if you wanted to with um nail glue but of course i'm using acrylic um they are already shaped pre-shaped but i do like to go in and shape them um, this clear thing that I'm using is a clamp, but it don't work for me, but I did use it, uh, during this video, but I don't use it anymore. So you can really get these nails from anywhere. Um, I will put some links in the description box below so that way you guys can buy the nails and you can buy the, just buy everything. So I will put the link for the nails, the tips, the the nails to tips the nails the clamp like everything i put it in the description bar below <laughs> so um another question that i keep getting is how long do they last and how do you take them off okay so they last just like acrylic nails they can last up to two weeks and they will start growing out so you just fill it in like you do any other acrylic nails um to take them off I would just soak them off as like you would do acrylic nails and they should just come off. But to soak them off, you do want to use 100% acetone. And I just want to let you guys know that I still do use this method, especially when I'm like rushing and I want my nails done like really quick. I will go back to this and just put my um, nails on. You can pre-design these. And then put them on with your acrylic like how I'm doing now. So it's, these really do come in handy and I still love this method. Now I should have said this in the beginning. But I prep my nails like I do any other acrylic application. I do like push my cuticles back. I foul my nail bed a little bit. Just so that it can adhere a little better. Just like you would do with a, a regular acrylic nails. And as you all know, in my other video, I do go on top and put more acrylic. But you do not have to do this. You can put your nails on and then you can leave it like that. But for them to be stronger, you can go underneath. To make them like a little bit more stronger which I do recommend so that way they won't break as easy and as I'm talking in this video I am looking at comments from my last video and someone had asked me do I uh, prepare my own nails and do I have to put anything down I do prep my nails I do use primer and when I'm doing the overlay on top of it I use primer again just so uh, it can control the lifting and just like your regular full set you want to clean around the cuticle area so that way you can eliminate that lifting because who wants lifting who wants their nails to come off so you do want to clean around the cuticle area uh, with your drill that's what I use you can use a hand file whatever you want to use you use it The acrylic underneath, like I said, is for extra strength. 
and I think this would be like a very good idea because you don't want your nails to break. I have received so much positive feedback on this video, on this tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed this because I wanted to make things clear. And if you guys want an updated video on me doing these press on nails with a better shape with some designs, y'all be sure to let me know in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as you did the other one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.